And just to prove I'm not a rampant pirate or anything, the Easy Flash 4. The Easy Flash 4. Easy Flash 4 is an extremely Nintendo unapproved method of having all of your games with you at all times. It is a Game Boy Advance flash cart, but will work in any system that runs Game Boy Advance games, whether that be your Game Boy Micro, your Game Boy Advance SP, your DS Lite, or heck, even one of those stupid GameCube card readers if you got one of those. How the Easy Flash 4 works is by reading ROM files of games off of the mini SD card in the side. Unfortunately, Many SDs once put in here will be very difficult to get out. What I have in here now is a mini SD card to micro SD card adapter, which all you have to do is put in the micro SD card right in the side, and it reads fine. It's still kind of difficult to get out, but it's possible. I very much recommend you get the same setup because I've had this thing for about two weeks and I still can't get this out from the first time I put it in. It's pretty sad. Anyway, put the micro SD into a normal SD card adapter and put that in your computer. If your computer does not have an SD card drive, you will need a USB adapter like I have. So you can just put it in that way. Putting games onto your Easy Flash 4 is not as easy as connecting it to the computer and dragging the ROM files onto the SD card you will need a Windows program that is, for whatever reason, not included with the box and you'll have to download online. You will need either a Windows computer to run it or some sort of program like Wine or Crossover. I thankfully have a Windows computer to run the program on and I cannot confirm whether or not Wine or Crossover will work, but it's pretty likely. I'm not going to lie, the Easy Flash 4 is not user friendly and can be very overwhelming to new users. Thankfully, there are many help forums online, and this is not an unpopular flashcard, so there's bound to be someone who has the answer to your question, if it has not already been answered. C Flash 4 is not without its idiosyncrasies. When you first write the binary on the SD card to the main cartridge, as you're required to do when you first get this, you have to boot the system while holding R, it never tells you anything about this, but you're somehow required to know. Thankfully, that's what the internet is for. Also, with games over 32 megabytes, such as Mother 3, you are required to hold select as you choose a game from the list of stuff on your SD card. I don't know why, but thankfully people have got it figured out by now. The Easy Flash 4 will give you the option of Chinese or English text when you first turn it on, but for whatever reason, it still gives me Chinese characters. But the menus aren't very difficult, and you can get through most of them by just clicking A. Here is my beautiful theme. Look at it. You know you want it. That's why I have a download link in the description. Anyway. When you first turn on the system, obviously this is not the theme you have. You are included with something even weirder, a Star Wars Episode 3 theme. When you first turn it on, you'll be greeted to Darth Vader's menacing glare. When you get to this main menu, you'll see Obi-Wan and Anakin duking it out with their lightsabers. I don't know why, but thankfully they gave you an option to change it on the computer. Here is what you'll want, the games. Mother 3 is at the very top, but here are the rest. This is Goomba Color, which is required for Game Boy Color games. Goomba for just Game Boy games. A few of my favorites, Pocket NES for NES games, obviously, and some other goodies. I will show you Mother 1 plus 2, because this is fairly recent to the time this video is being made. Mother 3 is so a couple years ago. This is a loading time you'll encounter for most games.
awesome. Regardless of the idiosyncrasies of the main Easy Flash 4 settings and menu, window, whatever, once you're in the game, it runs completely flawless. I've never had any issues with freezing, frame rate droppings, none that an original Game Boy cartridge wouldn't already have. There are also no things that emulators usually have, like save states, turbo, you're going to have to play the game normally, you don't have those kind of things. Let's compare cartridges. They're a little different in size and shape, but once they're actually in, you'll barely notice a difference. The texture is a little more grainier on here than the smooth plastic of the normal cartridge, but you get used to it. It's definitely not a problem. If you want all your Game Boy Advance games in one place, you definitely need this. There are other versions of the Easy Flash 4, specifically ones meant to go flat along the DS Lite Game Boy Advance slot instead of stick out like they do with this. But, micros are awesome, and that's why you need this. And I highly recommend this flash card.